What's going on guys? This is Russinator, aka Mr. Don't Be a Tryhard here. Trying to show you guys some new games I just recently got. I just got Toy Soldiers Hall of Fame Edition. Uh, basically in this game you are a toy soldier and you're going against other people or you can do online features. But basically it's toys, like little toy army men, toy soldiers. And on this one, I'm actually playing as Cobra Commando, because on the Hall of Fame one, you get Assassin's Creed, Ezio, uh, He-Man, uh, you get, on the G.O. Joes, you also get Cobra Commando. He's always like, I'll get you! Or, I can't do the voice right now, because I'm doing 80,000 recordings, so eventually I'll get it going. But, um, yeah, but it's more like a, like a Skeletor, like, Yeah, I'm gonna get you, G.I. Joes! But, uh, yeah, there you go. And on this one, you just have to basically get your defense going higher because these waves after waves of toys are coming after you. And you have to do, like, certain things. You're trying not to get them to your lunchbox, which basically is your base. Um, when you're playing the storyline, it's just like how it's showing here when you are playing the game to where you have to... You can take control, like, right here. I'm going more detail into there. Uh, this is a missile launcher with nerf starts on it. makes the damage higher. Uh... Later on in the game, you see the kill streak right here on the side to the left. It's where you could become your commando, which is Cobra Command, you know, and um, sound like more like Skeletor there. But yeah, when you play as He-Man, that's only one you can play as. They didn't add Skeletor for some reason, or Mamra, or anything like that. They didn't. They didn't add any of those people in here. But in the Assassin's Creed, I haven't done it yet. I'm gonna do more live. Uh, recordings of it so I can record it onto here. I was just doing some Twitch of this game and people don't really watch it but it was something different because I don't see a lot of people doing it. Just to verify that there is other games like I just bought Infamous Second Son too so I'll probably do some live recordings of that and actually recordings too of me playing uh, to see if people want to watch those videos also. Uh, I'm trying to keep my voice higher up because lately when I'm doing recordings, my voice has been lowered down to where it sounds like I'm just doing like this, which I'm not. And, yeah, you have to rank up, too. Every time you rank up and you beat the level, because the levels get harder and harder and harder. Uh, those, right, that's an a anti-tank with the missiles. You have your gunners, then you have your, your, basically your big badass freaking ones that have, like, the big giant motors that come out. Then you have your, your... Aircrafts, and then on the side, like I was trying to tell you, is when you get it up to right here to the left where it has the little Cobra Commando on there, you can actually bring him out and you can play as him running around. And he's just going, like, I'll get you, yeah, just doing his thing like normal. And, um, and then if you go up higher, that's actually the Cobra Commando ship all the way on top. It's really hard to get once you do, though, a big track ship will come out. And it'll start destroying everything. And it's just for a couple seconds, though. because It's weird. That, on, that only lasts a couple seconds. But if you play as your commando, or you play as Ezio of authority, you know, from Assassin's Creed, which I'm going to be showing you guys later when I decide to jump onto that. And then I'm going to play as He-Man. Yeah. Ooh, He-Man. And uh, to show you guys that one, too, because um, you can also play as Duke from the G.I. Joe's, too, on their side. I was kind of hoping they would actually add more than just just those two. Like, even plays G.I. Joe's, you plays Cobra, other characters would be in there. But they didn't quite do that for some reason. Or the Assassin's Creed didn't put an enemy out for him, for Ezio. But I say Ezio. You know, it's like you're saying Excelsior. You know, but it's not. Uh, they need to do with Toy Soldiers, because the game, the game was only, I only paid like $17 for the game. And it's a pretty good PS4 game. It's it gets a little repetitive, but you see how the money keeps building up. It's where you build your defense higher. You put more ammo. You make them basically better with more damage. And I haven't unlocked everything yet because I'm only like 30%. But right there with the flag, the Cobra Commando flag, actually enhances the damage up higher. So when they're just sitting or shooting, it's just ridiculous. And that right there actually adds a missile to the min min the mini guns. We are. If you notice right there, that's an anti-stinger, so when something hits it, it's more... Right here is where I am upgrading the defense around it to make the hit points higher. Um, because it, it all has to do with hit points, accuracy, and basically everything that has to do with... Basically trying to defend your place. I have 
with the game. There is no hard, easy defense. Not hard, easy, or, you know, normal. It's just how the game plays. Whatever you're playing is, it's what you are. There is bosses in the game, and they are very hard. When you have your defense up, they will... They're actually bigger, they're probably big or bigger than the map itself. You'll see them on the side of the map, and you have to sit there and try to figure it out. Or, the last one I fought was a big old tank, and it just kept going up and down this whole area. And it, every time it hit one of your little tower, your turrets, they'd blow up. So you have to sit there and keep trying to get your money, trying to do this, trying to do that, and putting your defense up the whole time. Uh, with the game, it's... I'm just trying to do different game recordings because everybody's it's always been you know Call of Duty Black Ops 3 well I mean right now it's a good game it's popular kids watch it people watch it you know they enjoy it with this one I just wanted to do something a little bit more different I, di I did get out I started playing my Elder Scrolls online again started doing some live uh, twitch on there I'm on track to too when I'm doing it but not a lot of people watch that stuff and it's just really hard to get a good decent name on there right now I'm playing as a uh, red guard female red guard that's uh, sorcerer mage yeah mage um, I also have two other characters that that one's in Dragonfall uh, the other two are the other two I can't think of their the alliances right now but when you only pay like five bucks for the Elder Scrolls Online game, and everybody's asking me why didn't you come with a code and all that, it was five bucks at a flea market. Of course, I'm not gonna worry about it, you know. I mean, I don't care about a code. I mean, that game's still thirty nine ninety nine new. I pay five dollars flea market, just like most of my games I get. I try to go to the flea markets. People, you know how people are. They don't care. They try to get rid of their stuff, and sometimes you get some great deals. Sometimes you don't. I just got the new DLC for uh, Fallout 4, which I'm going to try to do some recording. Still trying to figure out how to record a certain spot to another spot on here with the controller, but I think I kind of figured it out. You have to like click share, not all the way hold it in, and then it'll have a little thing on top where it says recording, and then you have to click it again to stop the recording. So I will be trying to do some Fallout 4 DLCs for the new... DLC robot thing because it's actually it's really good. I do recommend you guys getting the new Fallout 4 DLC. It's like 99. It's the auto auto machinist or something. Yeah, and the storyline was really good. It wasn't like too long and it wasn't too short. It was just a good DLC where you get to build. There's actually a new thing. See right here the anti air the Cobra air ship, and you can't even see it on the map, but it's actually flying around on top and. I just couldn't get a good view of it because this map was differently. But yeah, you'll just start seeing the points rank up. You'll see it starts getting blue. This is actually the end right here. This is the last wave. But you see it shooting over there. See all that blue lasers coming? That's from that. So basically, you just want to save it to like you get to the boss fight or anything. Yeah, there it is. You can see it to the left. It's just barely showing in here. But yeah, you'll see missiles going everywhere and just blowing everything up. And but. I did get that DLC. I started playing The Witcher 3 again. I'm trying to do some live recordings of that too. Uh, basically, when every time you beat a feet a level, you're trying to get a high score. You're trying to get gold or platinum. Or when you get all golds, it's very hard to do. Because like it tries to say that money saved in each map, and then you try to level up your character. See right here, you level up, and then you get like these little card packs that you're trying to open it up for everything to get new stuff for your turrets or anything see like right here standard packs but the other ones are like 2000 so but guys this is going to be the it for me right here so i will see you all later